Hello coders and welcome to another video. Today I'm doing this paragraph with some animation. And for the colors I'm going to use um, this page here that I'm going to leave in the description box and you can find the colors in hex or in RGBA or in RGBA and it's great and I'm also going to use this clippy tool that I'm going to leave in the description box. So I'm using CodePen and I have already a class named Box and in the SCSS I have write this class Box. It's not something strange, I'm using the usual properties uh, but now I want to comment this red border as I don't need it. And I have also write all the colors, they are in RGBA. First I have these colors for uh, num and you will see how I'm going to use them and then I have for the graph bar some linear gradient colors and this time my A uh, or the opacity is 0.6 ok I think that's it and we can start writing our code uh, in the HTML file first I'm going to have the arrow and then I'm going to have the numbar after the numbar I'm going to have 10 points and these points will be um, inside the number. Let's start uh, writing in the CSS file the arrow. If you don't know the Clippy tool, um, it's a tool that helps you make some shapes. It has already some shapes like uh, the arrow or the triangle and it's quite easier to, to use this to use this tool in order to make some shapes and of course you can do it uh, in CSS but it's easier in that way. So I wrote my class and now I'm going to write the animation. The name of the animation is move arrow for 3 seconds and just one time. I will have for 0, for 90 and for 100. This is actually the seconds, so 100 is all the time, all the seconds, sorry. And I'm just going to have this uh, simple rotation for the arrow. I think that I'm going to comment it so I can write quite uh, easier the other classes and in the end I'm going to uncomment it. As for the number, I don't want anything special, it's just um, a straight line. And for the number uh, 10, 20, 30... I'm just going to have some points, but in these points uh, the color is changing. And I'm going to do this 10 times. Let's keep it a little bit, because it's the same thing. And now, as for the graphs, I'm going to have 5 bars, 5 graph bars, but you can have as many as you want. And again, 5 lines. The first line, which is 0, is just um, a very, uh, sorry, horizontal line. Alright, I'm going to adjust all my properties and of course the color. I'm going to use animation here in the graph bars. And so now you can see better the, the color, the linear gradient color. Nice. And if you want some more advice about the animation, you can just leave me a comment and I can do a video explaining uh, the animation. Because I know here I'm talking a little bit fast and maybe some of you don't know many things about animations and uh, you would like to see more things. So my graph bars are ready. Yes. As for the keyframe graph bars, this time I'm only going to have for 0 and 100%. And the only thing that will change here is the height in 100%. Everything else is going to be the same. So we'll have 5 animation for the 5 bars. And also I'm going to comment this um, animation so I can continue a little bit easier. Now I'm going to do the six lines. The first line, uh, the zero one, is just a horizontal line as I mentioned before. And here are the other lines for uh, the graph bars. We will have some animation here. 
and you will see in the end that the animation uh, in the graphs and in the lines are according to each other so the seconds are the same you must be quite careful here with uh, the left and the width properties you must actually calculate uh, the width all right now in the animations here the only thing that is going to change is the width the left uh, property is going to be 99 percent all right let's uncomment it and that's it uh, thank you guys for watching I hope you liked the result